Hello scientist, I'm going to show you how to draw extrinsic apoptosis pathway in Inkscape. This is meant for people who have taken my Inkscape beginner course. So check out the link below. The course is free and it covers most of the techniques that I have used in this video. Once you've taken the course, you should be able to draw this illustration. Let's get into it. All right. So let's draw a very thin, very narrow ellipse grab our gradient tool uh, let me zoom in we can create a radio gradient by using the gradient tool and i will make this arm short the color i'll use this magenta we need white in the center i'll use the light gray for the outline and to fill in the outline, hold shift and then click on the color palette. And I use the 0.5 points for the thickness. And let me make two copies. Let's rotate it. I will use the rotation tool. Come to object and transform. Rotate and here you can rotate it for a specific angle. Let me rotate it for minus 15 degrees. And then this one, let's do 15 degrees. I'll come to the alignment window, align to the button, equally distribute them. I'll group them by pressing Ctrl G. That's a simplified version of the death receptor. Okay, and let's give it a few leggings. Simple and easy spheres. Again, the radio gradient. And for the ligand, I will blue in here. Okay, and let's make three of them and put them around here. And then group them, Control G. And I will send them to the back. Now, uh, let's draw the fat. Grab the polygon tool and corners, six corners. And here is our hexagon. And I'll just, I squeeze it down like this and then place it over here. Again, a radial gradient. We'll align all of them to the center. And write F. A D D 12. Okay, now we will be drawing the cast space. They in the example they draw like a Pac-Man. And so I would also do the same. Let's first draw a circle. Then let's draw a rectangle. Spin it for 45 degrees. Let's move it off here. And just like align it like this. Select both of them and then come to path. Exclusion. Then break apart. And we can remove. Then we can carve the mouth of the Pac-Man. The radio gradient as usual. And this is the active form of the cast space. We need to round these corners. So let me first make copies of the cast space and then come to path. And here there's a path effect. Click on it. Click this plus sign to add path effect and search for corner. This one corners fillet chamfer effect and click on it. When you put your tool to edit paths by node, you'll see these green nodes show up on the corners. So just click on the green node, hold it and drag. Then you can round the corners. So you can select all the nodes that you want at once and then round them. Let me draw a arrow line. And we can add an arrowhead by selecting that by selecting it here in the fill and stroke 
window. This is just an ellipse. I will just speed up the footage here because it is just repeating what we have done throughout the video. I've also joined the intrinsic apoptosis pathway, but I don't have time to edit it yet. So uh, if you are my Patreon and my YouTube member, then you get to find it in the archive. If you liked the video, subscribe, find me on my social media. I also live stream on Twitch and I'll see you there.